Hey there everyone, 3.3 is here and we got some new events along with the patch so let's go check them out one by one. Going over to this pumpkin icon, we will be met with the usual new version missions that we can do in order to get some pretty good rewards. The very first thing that will catch your eye is the claimable celestial key over here. We will be given one free key but in order to get more, we must go to the key forger on the bazaar. Just like what his title suggests, we need all three types of golden chips and he will forge them into a celestial key. It also costs 300 dominium. This key will be used on world boss hunt event that will be unlocked sooner or later. The next on the list is planetary reclamation which is related to the glistening stars event. It's actually just a scratch card minigame but in order to participate, we must first do some simple missions in exchange for these tickets. There's two types of card in here, the blue one is free and the golden one is paid. You can check the possible rewards by scrolling through here. While we're here let's go to the exchange tab for a second and if you haven't claimed it yet, go ahead and use this code to get 3 gold nucleus. Going back to where we were, there's also this event calendar that you can check to see what other events are in store for this patch. Next, let's go to the trick or treat tab where we will find 2 new events along the other event that we already have. One of them is still locked, so let's go take a look at the wandering jacko. Clicking the icon on the event tab will automatically teleport us to the event place which is in Mororia. The mechanic for this event is quite simple. Starting at these times and within a 2 hour interval, 5 pumpkin gift boxes will be scattered all over this place. Opening these boxes will give us the event currency and some few extra stuff. A total of 10 boxes can be claimed on one day so you have to attend 2 parades per day if you want to claim all boxes. Also do take note that the pumpkin boxes only appear on channels 1 to 10. To get your rewards, go back to the event tab and click on store located over here. Also, here's the pumpkin headgear that we can get after collecting enough shards. After a while, the compensation from the maintenance should have arrived on your in-game mail so let's go ahead and claim our free dark crystals. The total is 710 DC and a few extra stuff were also thrown in there. Oh and don't forget the nucleuses from the code. Next we have the twitch drops. Go over to the TOF client and there's a detailed explanation over here on how you can get your twitch drops. The possible loots is also listed down here and in summary, if you gain an accumulated 5 hours of viewing, the overall rewards will be 500 dark crystals, 1 red ball, 1 red tissue paper and some extra stuff. Moving on, let's head over to the gift box icon where there's also some new stuff. First in line is Ling Han's summer outfit skin which is certainly tempting to get but I'm a vault main so I'll just close my eyes. Total costs for emptying the gachapon is 10,610 dark crystals or 5,900 taniums. Then what we have over here are the order gifts or the little extra rewards that you can get from pulling on Ling Han or other Frost Banner. After that we have this top up event for the spenders. Last on the list is the 5 free Linghan pulls that we can get after logging in for 3 consecutive days. 
One more important thing that you might miss is the new Augment Module Box 2 on the Crystal Dust Store. This one is available after the patch so if you haven't bought it yet, do remind yourself to get it sometime later.